So Cabinet's met today and has agreed uh, to proceed with the plans for Akeley Heads uh, to develop uh, a business park on the Akeley Heads site, uh, to proceed with an outline planning application uh, to that end. Uh, as a consequence of that, we've uh, also agreed uh, to move on to the next stage in terms of uh, moving the Council's headquarters to a Durham City centric site and also uh, to, uh, to the uh, development of a Durham History Centre which will incorporate uh, the archives currently based in County Hall uh, and also to be linked with uh, other historical records and we will be launching a public consultation in the next few days which we very much hope the public will get involved with telling us what should be included in that Durham History Centre. There was a lot of positivity this morning as the plans were discussed, uh, not just from uh, people who spoke at the meeting, councillors and officers, but uh, from business representatives as well. So we heard uh, via uh, video from, for example, Sir John Hall, uh, from James Ramsbottom from the North East Chamber of Commerce, uh, from Andrew Hodgson, who's the chair of the North East Local Enterprise Partnership, uh, from Ed Twiddy, from Atom Bank, uh, and also from Stuart Corbridge from Durham University, all of whom spoke very positively about the potential of Akeley Heads uh, and uh, the importance of this uh, plan for a business park on the Akeley Heads site. Uh, and that's uh, really important for Durham. It's important to move forward in partnership uh, because the success of this will very much depend on the private sector coming onto this site, providing the 6,000 jobs, which we believe uh, is uh, a, a, a realistic target over the next few years. So the master plan for Akeley Heads is in three phases. Uh, phase one on the northern part of the Akeley Head site is already uh, developed to an extent with a number of private sector businesses. Uh, 1,300 jobs are already there, for example, including Atom Bank, uh, who are based at the River Green Centre, uh, a number of small businesses that have moved into uh, the business incubator at Salvas House, a number of employers already there, uh, and phase one will be the immediate phase to move forward, providing uh, another 1,000 or so jobs on that site. Phase two, which will follow on uh, in a few years' time, will be on the site currently occupied by County Hall uh, and its car parks. Uh, phase three will only proceed at a later date, and phase three uh, includes some of the... Uh, areas to the south of the site, some of maybe the greener uh, parts of the site, uh, but will only proceed if phases one and two have been a success and will be some way down the track. Uh, so we're talking several years into the future. However, we're very confident uh, that it will come to that, that this will be a success, that we will attract several thousand jobs uh, over this uh, time period. So it's a very exciting set of proposals uh, and we believe that Durham has lacked uh, a business park uh, with uh, very good quality office accommodation. We know there are a lot of businesses inquiring about coming to Durham, locating to Durham. We haven't been able to offer them the accommodation very close to the city centre, very close to the East uh, Coast Mainline Railway Station, and we will be able to here at Akeley Heads in the future, and that's very exciting for the future of Durham. Uh, it's very important that we're respectful of the environment around Akeley Heads. So this development, the new business park, will be very much one that respects the environment. Indeed, that's very much part of its appeal. Not only are we within minutes of Durham City Centre overlooking the cathedral and castle, the World Heritage Site near the station, but it's in a parkland setting, it's in a beautiful setting. We know that's part of the appeal now and we want to preserve that. So we will work within the environment, we will work to preserve the green character of Akeley Heads as we move forward in all of the phases that take place. The DLI building, the building that, that, that previously formed part of the DLI Museum, uh, is outside of the uh, phases altogether. So there is no proposal to develop uh, the area that's occupied currently by the building that was 
part, formerly the DLI Museum. Uh, it's very important that we're respectful, uh, not just of that building, but of the land immediately in front of it. Uh, and the, this uh, land, uh, that part of the land, uh, which is uh, right at the southern end of the Akeley Head site, uh, does not form part of the proposals for phase one, phase two, or phase three uh, of the Akeley Heads plan. This is a very important uh, plan for the future of County Durham. At the moment, we know that unfortunately a lot of our young people leave because the, the job opportunities are not available for them. So they leave to go to Manchester or Leeds or London. And we need to reverse that trend. We need to keep our best uh, young people, uh, all of our County Durham residents here in County Durham and uh, job opportunities such as here at Akeley Head, 6,000 new jobs will play a massive part in, in changing uh, that uh, trend for, for some of our young people to leave uh, the North East. So this is important not just for County Durham but for the future of the whole region. It can really achieve a step change for Durham's economic prospects. It's something that I believe that we will look back on in decades to come uh, and say that that marked a clear point where Durham moves on a step in terms of providing the jobs that the people of County Durham need. So the Durham History Centre will include the archives. Now the archives are currently based at County Hall uh, and uh, some people do visit the archives and volunteer in the archives. It is a tremendous record in itself dating back centuries. It is one of the most important archives in the whole of the UK and we need to do what we can to, to make that more accessible to the public. So the idea is that we will put the archives together with other resources that we know are there, other uh, very important collections. Uh, and there are a number of those collections uh, which uh, potentially can uh, move in with the archives uh, in terms of some of our uh, heritage, some of our history, uh, some of the military collections that exist, for example. Uh, and we want the public to be involved in telling us what should be included together, but potentially at uh, this new site at Mount Oswald Manor, uh, with the idea that by bringing everything together, we make it more accessible for the public to come and visit. We bring that history and heritage to life in one location. We feel that's a very exciting opportunity, uh, which is part of these proposals, uh, and we're very much looking forward to going out and talking to the public over the next few weeks and hearing the public's views. In terms of the council's building, uh, the council needs to uh, come off the Akeley Head site because the site of the current county hall is in the middle of phase two of the Akeley Heads business park proposal. So potentially uh, there are more than 2,000 new jobs that can come onto this site and county hall needs to move as part of that. Uh, but that also gives us an opportunity, uh, it gives us an opportunity to move to uh, uh, accommodation that's more fitting for the 21st century, that's smaller. We don't need a building that's as big as County Hall. Uh, it was built in another age uh, for a large number of people uh, and so the new uh, building will be significantly smaller. That also gives us an opportunity for more staff to work at some of our other buildings in County Durham. Uh, at important uh, places such as Spennymoor, Seam, Crook and Meadowfield. Uh, and we always said that, that uh, we need county council staff to be working right across County Durham, uh, not just in Durham. So it allows us the opportunity uh, to do that as well. Uh, and another, a number of other opportunities will flow from that move. So for example, to be able to use our facilities and open them up more to the public. That's certainly something that we we will want to develop uh, as we move on uh, into that next phase.